Today, I'm going to teach you how to make a low poly landscape inside Blender. Let's go. Okay, so here we are over inside Blender. Basically, what you want to do first is you can have your basic landscape. Usually what we'll do, so I have like two methods for making our landscape. So the first one is you'll just grab like a plane. We can scale it like all the way up like this. And then go control A. Also, you see, so I have a scale, right? A random scale. So you see 86. So it's control A scale. And you see now it's just back to one. And the two ways that I can do is either I can take this, I can subdivide it. So I just go tab to go to edit mode and I go W subdivide and you can see it subdivided. Open up this bottom little tab and then just make it like 20 up to 20 uh, or even more. Let's go like 40. So we have it like this. Now what we can do is we can use the uh, proportion editing. So let's click on this little button to turn it on. And what you can do with this is you can just select part of parts of it and you can see like drag it up and then you just scroll down in your mouse wheel and you can see you can kind of just make changes to the whole kind of like landscape of it. So you can kind of usually just make something that you would want like this. So yeah, so it doesn't work too well. Uh, you can also like sculpt it until you get something not don't you remove it too much. And yep, and you can have it like that. And then usually you can just like select the outside edge and like extrude it out. And uh, don't have a proportion entity and scale it up. Uh, and you can like add some edge loops and like smooth it out like that. So you get some sort of land like this. And what you can do, so you can have like your main landscape be like a round chair. And then you'll usually have like some sort of barriers around the edges and what you can do also is you can make like mountains and stuff so what i'd usually do with this is i'd add a decimate uh just to make it like look more nice um and then like depending on what you specifically need so if you have like small detailed spots you can have like a higher resolution and then like sculpt it in so you can have like some specific spots maybe you have like a river you can just go sculpt mode and then just like carve something out for like a river Maybe it like separates into like a pond and carries on out the other side. So you can see, so you can kind of just quickly sculpt it and get something simple. Uh, yeah, like this. So you can leave the, the modifiers on as well if you want. Also, what you want to do is you want to, maybe it scales down a bit there. What you can do is you can create like mountains. So make sure you go to edit preferences and then go to add-ons, a.n. So you can see a.n.t and you can see and landscape so just enable that and then you'll see you have a create button or you can just go shift a mesh landscape and you can see it's all the way down here in the middle so you can see you can create mountains like this so if you have something nice you can just go decimate it and then just shade this flat and then just scale it all the way up you can just like put it underneath like this uh and then you can just like mess around with it until it like intersects properly or you can use something like booleans booleans so yeah so you can create like map uh some stuff like this uh or you can you can create like custom mountain for each one this river is probably a bit too big especially if you have like a mountain here but yeah so we have something like this so you can carry on just like working on something like this just to get something pretty decent for your thing uh make a custom uh mountain for each part and then yeah like this and then you can also set up like some materials so there we have our camera like here just go add a camera i'm going to use my custom key bond you can just use control uh, control alt and zero on the numpad so i'll put it like here that's us you can just like sculpt the mountains if you want to like have it a specific way or like decimate them more or less and then you want to get like your materials so, like the mountains will be gray and then you can have like your ground be like a green let's go rendered i'll turn it to cycles I'll just set it to like a low sample count and then turn on render region. I think what I want is like a low FOV. So I'll do like 24, go 30, 35. So it doesn't look the greatest. Uh, it doesn't look the greatest with having this like little like separation here. Uh, so usually, so they could usually just like try to figure out a way or we can add some like bushes and stuff. So what you can do also, we want to do the water. So you can just go add like a plane scale it up like this and then just like extrude it out and then you'll just want to drag it up so you can actually see the parts through and then maybe just go back and sculpt parts in yeah like there and then you just screw it all the way along and then if you want to get some better looking like colors on the actual um 
also on the actual ground what we can do is we can do a vertex color uh, paint and what that will do is if we go so we can go there i think i want to fix this so we can see the water so maybe we can just select everything and kind of like rotate it like this and then we could just bring this down uh maybe wait sculpt mode so like there okay cool and then what you want to do is we go to materials give us a blue you can also like subdivide this uh add a displace new go to the texture tab changes to clouds you want to make it small so it's kind of just a random Let's drag up the strength slightly maybe also the subdivisions and then also decimate it again just to add a nice look to the water um we'll just actually just leave us an e for now you can also like drag down the roughness and maybe transmission so with that you'll have to add some alpha blend that's not great just because it's a material preview and yeah so you can just mess around with everything and then what i was saying with the, the vertex paint so basically what we can do is we can go to this little toolbox and it's like paint colors on so so like this uh, we'll see wait what is the color so let's grab this color and then paste it in and then we can paint our entire model with it like this then what we can do is go grab the color for the rocks copy and then go away uh, vertex paint go back to the tool and paint in the gray uh oh wait. Ver uh, vertex paint so we want to make a color palette just click new go plus and then put in the gray color for the rocks click plus so we can make it there and you can like paint it in the colors you can drag it down the opacity if you want to like blend it in so you can kind of just start like blending everything in so let's just get rid of the mountains for now just to make it easier to paint everything in yeah like there so if we go unhard if we go to shading and then we go vertex color and then choose the color color to base color and you can see so it actually works so you can do the same thing with the mountains if you want to paint a specific parts onto them and you can get it kind of working like that if you want you can go at a color ramp uh don't know how well this is going to work but we can do something like this and then this one really work out well uh okay if you can come up with a way if you just have like two colors whatever in your landscape uh or you can if you just have it like black and white whatever so we can set up a color ramp like this and you can see we have it like this and then we can actually like clamp them together or just turn it to constant actually and then you can see we can kind of set it up like this and if we have multiple colors um so we can have like a second color maybe we have like a different green like a darker green or if we have like a yellow sandy color kind of thing um we can go paint that in like this around the sides yeah so like this then you can see we can kind of bring it back in here but then what we do is if we bring three colors it doesn't work the best but you can kind of just get it to like set up like this um and then give it the colors so we have our base color green check the color palette we can put it on our gray or you can just have it like smooth over and then just plug it in and then you have the colors actually working properly and you can change it on the fly like this um and i guess if you want you could i guess if we have a darker green it might work so just grab this color and then we can just kind of give it like a variation of it and then we can also start making some foliage